everybody. Wanted to do a review on the iPad 3 that I just purchased. Um, they're calling it the iPad. So when you purchase the, the iPad, it comes in pretty much similar box. Like the two. Okay. Now here we go. When you unbox it, there is a protective film that goes over the iPad. I've already started using this. So now, let's go ahead and take this out. I'll move this to the side first. Underneath the iPad, you have basically your charger this packet and the USB cable. Pretty pretty simple. Alright, now with the iPad. I did have the iPad 2, but I do not have it anymore, so I can't really compare this side by side, but I do just wanna kind of give you a a quick little show and tell of this. There's the speaker. It feels a little heavier than the two, but I'm just going off of uh, what I kind of recall from the two. The back side. This is the 64 gig. The camera. Okay. And I know a lot of you are probably wondering if it'll fit your existing uh, iPad 2 cases. I can't speak for all, but I will say this. My iPad 3 does fit into my iPad 2 case. So um, this is a Melco case which is um, which is handmade. Um, has a handmade case that you can purchase. Uh, but I did not have to purchase this. I basically reused my iPad 2. So for some of you, it may work. Some of you may not. I heard that the iPad 3 is a little thicker. But um, again, I cannot compare. As I do not have my iPad 2 any longer. So I will just want to show you a quick peek of the inside when you turn it on. Um, first thing I do notice, the icons are a lot sharper. Other than that, um, I do not notice uh, any difference in speed. Um, I don't really use my iPad uh, that much for anything other than basic web surfing, uh, emails. But uh, that's pretty much about it. Um, I do notice the pictures. When you open up any pictures, um, they are they seem to be more vibrant in colors. But when you compare it side by side to an iPad 2 or an iMac, uh, apparently there is a slight difference in um, in viewing the two similar pictures or the exact pictures. They'll be a little different in color. Um, I have tested out the camera. I am very uh, happy to say the camera, is, the pictures that come out after taking the picture is very clear compared to the iPad 2. The iPad 2 uh, was not uh, very, very clear. Um, I have also tried the video function. And again, the videos are much clearer than the iPad 2. And that alone to me is very useful. 
Um, I do not use the iPad two, uh, 3 to take any pictures. I have not used the iPad 2 to take any pictures. But I have used it for uh, recording videos when I travel. And uh, I'm very happy to say that now um, the videos will be very clear. see is there anything else um, I do notice that the battery life is extremely uh, longer than the uh, iPad 2 which is comes in handy um, it did take me a while to charge up this when I first opened the package it had 84 percent and I just needed to get 16 more percent to get to 100 and um, it did take a lot longer so I'm not sure as to why but uh, I don't see that really being a problem. When I did uh, first initially start installing the applications onto uh, this iPad 3, um, I did have an issue. The icons or the apps did install okay. However, none of them worked. I, had, I pushed them a few times. Uh, they would not launch the application. So what I ended up doing was restarting it hoping to solve that and uh, after restarting it also did not work so I'm not sure exactly what the cause of it is it could be that uh, there are some bugs that they're they're working on fixing I'm not sure I plan on taking it to the Apple Store until then I do not know what the cause is uh, however the way that I fixed it was to delete one of the apps then reinstalled it from the App Store and magically all the apps started working again. Well, uh, there you have it. Thank you for watching. Um, and this is the uh, review on the iPad 3. Thank you.